So I'm going to sit in a little AC for a second. Um, I don't know how loud it is. I'm sorry. Look my hair. Woo! It's really, really professional. <sighs> Let me see. Maybe this way. Hey, all right. Um, nah, it's still not that great. Um, just got out of church. I, on Wednesday nights, I not only lead the opening of the service and lead the, the worship music that we have, uh, but I, in the last couple of months, I've started to lead a, it's a kids class, a youth class, um, where we just have a, a quick Bible study, sometimes an object lesson. Last week, my buddy Slim, if you can see him, my buddy Slim, he joined me for a class. There we go. We'll do this a little bit here. He joined me for a class because I used my buddy Slim as an object lesson uh, about Romans chapter 5 where it says that because of sin we have death in the world and how Slim is just a Halloween prop pretending to be dead and that we all have to face death in one way or another because of sin uh, but that Jesus Christ he came to uh, to forgive that sin to be the sacrifice for sin read Romans chapter 5 for yourself you'll see what I'm talking about um, and the kids really love this. I'm just so glad nobody went home and told their parents that there was something dead in the classroom. Um, nobody got mad. I didn't get an angry letter or a mean post on Facebook. Um, and this week we brought flashlights so that they could see uh, the analogy of how Jesus in uh, John chapter 12, verse 46, made sure they remembered that one. How he said that I'm the light of the world and that anyone that follows me will not remain in darkness and that's what that was that was about um, they can have the they had the flashlights to keep they can use them for trick-or-treating or something because that's something that's coming up soon the month of October after all in this Halloween season um, I know that's kind of weird sometimes people think that church people don't like Halloween when it's like one of my favorite times of the year I love scary things I don't like truly horrifying things like realistic horror um, but I love stories about ghosts and vampires and werewolves, preferably vampires, that's my favorite. Um, no, not because of Twilight, that's a whole other video. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just share that. I'm about to get on the road. Oh, this air conditioning feels so good. I live in the south and it's October, it's supposed to be fall, but there is nothing fall about 75 degrees <sighs> at 8.30 in the evening. Okay, um, see you in the next part.